Welcome back Tiger and Rocket sports fans. We have a lot to cover as state wrestling took place last week and basketball districts began this week for the Carroll boys and last week for the Rocket boys team. We'll throw it over to Jason West on state wrestling tournament held in Des Moines last weekend. Parker Clucky participated in state wrestling this past week. On Thursday, he lost his first match of the day by fall against Wilfred Catahue of Iowa City High. Parker won his second round consolation by a fall against Tanner Doyle of Cedar Falls. On Friday the next morning, he lost with a score of 6-4 against Blake Underwood of Valley in the second round consolation by a score of 6-4. This loss sadly ended his journey to the state finals match, but he looks to return next year better and stronger with an optimistic view for his senior year. Thursday, the Tigers traveled to Harlan to take on the Cyclones in a non-conference matchup. With the game tied at 8 in the first, Cooper Ross finds Justin Moore for a 3 in the corner. The Tigers slowly started to take over in the second quarter. Here, Cooper Ross finds Jang Gigolo for another 3. The Cyclones wouldn't give up, cutting the once double-digit Tiger lead down to 5 points. But Cooper Ross hits a deep 3-pointer to silence the Harlan crowd. The Tigers would end up winning by 13 points and were led by Cooper Ross's 34 points. The Tigers then look forward to taking on Creston in Tuesday in the first round of the playoffs. The Tigers kicked off their playoff round on Tuesday night at Highland versus the Creston Panthers, but had a heartbreaking loss to end their terrific season. After starting out the game strong with Boone's and 1 3, and then Cooper's and 1 3 as well, the Tigers fell behind going into the fourth quarter. Here they fall back hard and sent the game into OT. After Cooper's dish out to Tyler Tuning for a wide open layup, and then Jang Jiggles blocked to end the first four quarters of play. To start OT, Boom Lowell shot a shot at Dagger to put the Tigers up 63 to 60, and the Tigers couldn't find an answer offensively toward the end of the overtime, and fell 69 to 65. The Rockets played in their district final as well on Tuesday night versus Tri-Center held in Manning. The Rockets fell to Tri-Center 70-58. to Drew Shirky and Keegan Simons were the lead scorers with 22 points by Keegan and Drew scoring. Keegan also led the team in rebounding with 12 boards. Although the Rockets' season comes to a quick end, they have high hopes for the future of our Weave of Basketball as both Keegan, Drew, and others return next year for their senior year. Thanks for being a part of Tiger Vision. And be sure to tune in for next week's wrestling, swimming, and basketball recaps and statistics of the year.